guys you welcome back hope you guys are feeling good my name is becoming big crown so um this is a street interview in which indians are going to tell us what it feels like to be a muslim and we all know that the um the popular religion in india is hindu hinduism so let's check it out hey everyone this is aksa from asian boss did you know that there are over 200 million muslims staying in india mm -hmm. despite this large number muslims are still considered as religious minority with less than 15% of Indian population identifying themselves as Muslims. You asked us to find out what is it like to be Muslim in India. So today we are going a step further and asking both the sides. First, we shall go and talk to some Hindus regarding their perception of Muslims. Muslims and then we are going to ask Indian Muslim themselves. Okay. Let's go. All right. Question, uh, what's your religious background? I'm a Hindu. So today we are uh, conducting an interview in which we are asking Hindus who represent the majority of India about Muslims. Is that cool with you? Yeah, yeah. When you hear word Muslim, what kind of stereotypes, uh, you know, about them come into Indian society? First, positive stereotypes are like they visit the temple daily, they pray and some negative sides I can highlight is like uh, girls are not given that much freedom. When I see uh. them most of the time I feel about women uh, they are not empowered. They I, I see them wearing burqa a lot of time even in Mumbai. I usually hear that most of the Muslims are into terrorism and something like that but that's not true at all. The stereotypes which persist are that they they are not cleanly like they don't uh, maintain cleanliness then uh, the behavior and the attitude they have is here thought of as bad yeah, by Hindus. Where do you think these stereotypes come from? Uh, it's basically uh, when we got separated after the partition uh, it was embedded into our minds that these people are actually not they don't belong to where you belong to nowadays with our government present government uh, raising the slogan of hindutva which is totally a religion politics so from there also a lot of stereotypes are again coming back i don't know we are moving ahead or behind through this government but yeah i don't support this at all so how often do you come in contact with muslim people uh, basically basically the friends yeah, basically the friends. Are your are your parents okay with you yeah, yeah. being friends with Muslims? Yeah, yeah, surely they are. They are very open-minded. They think that they are also humans. We are also human. What is the history? That is the history. So uh, this is the case because you are staying in a metro city like Mumbai. Yeah. What do you think is the case in villages? That is totally opposite. Okay. That is totally opposite because in village uh, there is a separation between Hindi, Hindu, and Muslims. I don't come from a metro city. I come from a very small village, okay. and I have seen uh, riots on a day-to-day -day basis in front of my house in front of my school there were n number of riots pertaining hindu versus muslim issue why do you think this kind of situation severe situation exists in villages especially people are very emotional in places they have time to do things here no one has time to fight over they sleep they wake up they work uh, do you feel muslims as minority sometimes feel some kind of discrimination in india Obviously, they are treated as a minority since a very long time. They have been told continuously that you are a minority, you are a minority, you are a minority. They have been used as a vote bank by these uh, big political parties like Congress and all. Every time they need their support, they come to these uh, small villages and the Muslim popula populations there. And they try to lure them and they try to give them benefits. And then after they are done with the elections and all, they forget that we have one part of society i can tell you stories uh, they actually come to our building so we were staying at that point we wanted to vacate and uh, they came there to look at the flat but my uh, landlord was in like though they allowed them to check out the flat but they were uh, biased about the fact they didn't want to rent it to a muslim so this kind of bias exists i think for them to get a accommodation in you know in building sometimes it's difficult does this religious difference make you a little distant from any muslim person Actually, not me, but uh, people in general are sometimes staying away from the Muslims. Sometimes uh, don't uh, don't go with Muslims, be with uh, the same people or the same group. Do you see Hindus and Muslims coexisting peacefully in India? Yeah, I see somewhere some places. I see that they are coexisting peacefully, like in colleges only. We don't think that he is Muslim or she is Muslim. Uh, we don't think of caste or religion. We are friends. What's your religious background? I'm Muslim. 
just a little while ago we actually talk, uh, talked to some hindus and asked them about certain stereotypes related to muslims so they gave us some stereotypes i would uh, like to tell you about them and then you tell me how do you feel about those stereotypes so some of them mentioned that uh, there, there are lots of terrorist groups from muslim as a religion so what do you have to say about that uh, first of all i want to say that uh terrorism has no religion if someone is speaking about a muslim that they're being a terrorist i feel sorry for them also sorry for me also that what is the fault of being a muslim if someone is just coming and creating a scenario like they are doing some terrorism the act of terrorism and they are claiming themselves being muslim i don't think that they are actually supposed to be the muslim or actually they are playing with the name of the muslim and the name of the islam like isis it is very painful and people because they are seeming after 911 the perce- perception of the world has been changed mm-hmm. people are saying that muslims are terrorists no actually the muslim as no, islam is the most peaceful religion i will say do you feel as though there are more tensions than usual after the kashmir bombing that happened after this pulwama attack and i was just browsing through my insta i found this interesting thing like they were commenting that all muslims should be like killed so i just commented this thing listen brother not every muslim is terrorist there are people in the, our indian army or our indian navy that uh, they are also muslims but they don't care about that but still i had this hope like i am there i should show the people that i am not like them i am not like this terrorist that they were made to be like i should show that i can be a better person and there was another one which said that uh, women are not as empowered in islam as it is in other religion firstly i do not think it's right to say that the religion makes you less empowered rather you know there's a very famous saying that in the quran the number of times a woman term appears is more than the number of times the uh, terminology of man appears also they say that uh, it is actually in the quran that a woman is like a queen okay so you do not subject her to any kind of uh, torture you you have to let her have her rights you have to let her have her freedom right so if the religion is saying that then how are people interpreting it somewhere else but i do get this one thing that why are you wearing this hijab and then when i say i like it i get this you know this expression people make oh i feel sorry for you okay and what do you feel sorry about like you wear regular clothes i choose to add one more thing with me how is that a sign of oppression or a bad thing if i'm doing it by choice do you ever feel distant from a hindu person due to the religious differences no we don't feel this type of thing. 95% of my friends are hindu and they are very friendly to me they are very close to me what can be done to keep this peace or bring peace in india between the two communities we should try to avoid all the hatred speeches all those spam messages which are on social media we should just try to skip all these things and we should observe our community our surroundings how we are living peacefully how we are living in brotherhood manner and we can live together happily so the people are actually what is being perceived it is a completely what is being shown by the mainstream media there should be some laws that the people like the media people should be firstly maintain their dignity and when the same news is being propagated into your mind there will be sometimes it comes and stick to your mind after sometimes you will be used to that and you will be just start feeling hatred for the particular community so that should be banned so what did you think did their answer surprise you this was the first time that we collected answers from both hindus and muslims We wanted to give you a general idea of what is it like being an Indian Muslim. We hope this video gave you some much needed insight. Wow, I love their point of view on this. Mostly this interview uh from the Hindu. Yes. And I love the way they 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 give their perspective. They said the reason why um Islam is the minority and the kind of stereotype they have negative one is a father you know one lady said she has this mindset that they they don't treat their women where well and they, they are not that confident in themselves and that person said because of the they said there is a terrorist um religion which is not so why some people are saying that um they need um they are not being recognized enough in india even though it's a mi- minority but there are millions of you know people 
that are is um, that are Muslim that have converted to Islam over there. This was a beautiful street interview, and I, I really enjoyed every bit of it. Yes, the answers was lovely. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.